Welcome to this issue of CCC Trends. The U.S. experienced significant decline in daily miles and miles driven in the U.S. as over 95% of the U.S. sheltered at home for numerous weeks starting mid-March and extending into May 2020. Not surprisingly, auto accident counts have fallen precipitously. Unfortunately, numerous areas are reporting increases in speeding and the severity of motor vehicle crashes. States such as Minnesota and Utah reported higher road fatalities in late March and in April versus the prior year, despite many fewer vehicles on the road. And state and local police in New York City, California, and Colorado are reporting higher counts of speeding vehicles. New York City alone saw an increase of more than 60% in speed camera tickets issued in late March and early April 2020 versus the same periods in 2019. That's because less congestion means traffic flows better and average speeds in rush hour also increase. Commercial vehicle transportation has also seen a significant drop, leading to an additional decline in urban congestion. Whether a result of speedier driving and more heavily damaged vehicles, recent CCC industry data suggests that vehicle repair costs continue to rise. Analysis of collision and liability auto insurance claims processed by CCC on behalf of its customers from mid-March by week over the last three years reveals an increase in the percent of overall claims flagged non-drivable, as well as an increase in the percent of claims flagged total loss. Higher total loss frequency in part can be attributed to the higher share of older vehicles in weeks 10 through 14 in 2020 versus the same period for the two prior years but a comparison of total loss frequency by age reveals more vehicles across all age groups are being flagged non-repairable. Overall, vehicle repair costs are climbing and are climbing faster than in prior years. A comparison of the preliminary estimate amount before any additional costs from supplements are factored in illustrates the increase in both drivable and non-drivable appraisals for 2020 versus the prior two years. And while the average amount fluctuated up and down between the weeks in 18 and 19, the average estimate amount steadily increased each week in 2020. During the last Great Recession, new vehicle sales in the U.S. plummeted. Sales in 2020 through March have also begun to fall, with a seasonally adjusted annualized sales rate reported 11.66 million. While many analysts hope sales will improve in the second half of the year, after further anticipated declines in April through June, Sales for the full year may be down between 15 and 30 percent. Used vehicle sales have also fallen sharply, with analysts forecasting full year used sales to be as low as 30 million or as high as 38 million versus 40 million in 2019. Wholesale used vehicle auctions virtually came to a standstill in April, with record low volumes of vehicles being auctioned, and wholesale prices were down 10 to 12 percent. And while used vehicle retail prices have outperformed wholesale results and experienced only moderate declines, analysts predict used prices for vehicles of all ages, eight and newer, will fall sharply through June, then recover and end up the full year down 2% versus 2019. Retail use prices on older units may hold their values better since they were already fewer of them due to the sales drop off during the Great Recession. And historically, there is higher demand for lower cost vehicles during recessionary periods. Additionally, fewer new sales in 2020 means fewer used vehicles available two to three years out. This is what happened during the Great Recession, and by 2011, used vehicle prices increased sharply. So while total loss costs may see some short-term decline, over time, costs can be expected to rise again. Unfortunately, while many of the shelter at home orders have begun to ease, the economic consequences of the COVID-19 outbreak will remain in place for quite some time. We will continue to monitor and provide updates as needed. Thank you for joining us for this issue of CCC Trends.